Hey guys, I'm Kyle and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix missing value in Google Merchant Center for Shopify. So let's get started. So as you can see here in this image, we have the missing value right here. And as you can see, we have the GTIN, we have the identifier, identifier. so that's the incorrect value, and it's the missing value for gender right there. And there is actually much more depending on your case. There might be more uh, missing value. So uh, we're going to fix that right here. So you want to go into your Shopify dashboard, and then uh, from here, you simply want to go into your product section, click here on products. And then from here, you want to select a product right here that has the missing value. So if you don't know which one that is, you might need to find that. So you want to click here on this product. So let's say this product right here. So what you want to do is go all the way down until you see the meta fields right here. And you can click here on the view all. And then from here, you can see that I have the JITIN right here. So as you can see uh, in the picture that I have showed you earlier, I have a missing value for JITIN. So all I have to do is input a value right here. So maybe I can just uh, put something random right there. And now I have a value and the error for the missing value should be gone by now. So that is basically how you do it. You just need to go into your product meta, meta fields and you should be seeing it right here, depending on the definitions that you have or the kind of meta fields that you have right here. There might be age group and so on. You might have some gender missing values right here. Once you're all done, click here on save and everything should be all good now. So if you're wondering that this would be too much hassle if you have so much product, then what you can do is basically it will be easier to do this in bulk if you have the Google and YouTube right here. So when you have this, then basically you can see all of your products here in the Google Merchant Center. And from there, you can just edit the meta fields in bulk. But uh, this is also a way to do it. So that is basically it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching.